G'day guys, what's cracking? Two Aussie here again. So today we're heading into Hungry Jack's and we're going to get the Smokehouse Whopper. At my store, $8.35. Deal. You can get single, double, triple. It's just extra meat and extra cheese. We'll just go with a single. But I'm going to grab a small meal so we can get some tips. And it's going to cost $11.75. Now, the other reason I want to get a small meal is I did say <laughs> that I wasn't actually going to use this Mecca's glass like bring it along with me to use because of this silly bump in the bottom but since saying that I have found out what this is all about and apparently you fill the drink up like you normally would and if you put it down and it wriggles around like that and rolls around it won't spill so we're going to test out that theory then you're never going to see it again and guys this uh, smokehouse whopper is going to have three sources on it I'm expecting this to get seriously messy so guys sit back relax and stay tuned, I reckon it's going to get very messy. And if we spill this, we really are in deep doo-doo. Let's get it. And away we go. Smokehouse Whopper. Got my small chips. <laughs> Got to have a chip. Now, before I go any further, this week I've done Red Rooster, KFC, even though we didn't have chips with KFC, uh, McDonald's and Hungry Jack's having the Hungry Jack's tips best of the week Hungry Jack's you win my award for best chips of the week and you never let us down that's the good thing about it a couple of escapees in the bottom of the bag now the Whopper <laughs> Smokehouse Whopper I'll give you a bit of a squeeze, and then we'll check it out from another angle. Alright, there it is. Now, I know it's called Smokehouse Whopper. Maybe it's got smoky barbecue. I know it's got barbecue sauce, but it does have that smoky sort of smell. So, I guess that's what it's all about, isn't it? With the flame grill and the barbecue. There is barbecue sauce on there. But I can't get off these chips. Chips of the week. Yeah, I love to taste them and beautiful seasoning too. So what's on this guy? <laughs> we got mayo, lettuce, battered onion rings, good stuff, mustard, smoky barbecue sauce, pickle, bacon, cheese and beef patty. There's quite a bit on this thing, looking pretty decent. So you now you know there is a very real and present danger of a super spreader event here. So, I reckon without further ado, I should wrap my laughing gear around this thing and see what all the hype's about. Just put down the flap, make it a bit easier to grab. I'll tell you from a good angle. There it is, guys. I can't wait to tuck in. Let's do it. Wow, I'm McLovin' that, it's good stuff. Going for a set, another bite before I give you my final verdict. Actually, there's supposed to be bacon on there, is there bacon? Oh yeah, bacon, I'll give you another look from here. Looking totally etoile, it does have the bacon. Thought they ripped me off then. Good stuff. Got to go in for more. It's very Moorish. So as far as being a super spreader, it hasn't done too bad. I don't think they've oversourced it, which is a good thing. We got onion rings, tomato, <laughs> bacon hanging out everywhere. It is a pretty decent burger and for the price, I'm reasonably impressed. So with that being said, guys, for value, I'll probably give it about a four and a quarter out of five stars. And for taste, I'll probably give it, it's actually a pretty decent burger. I'm not quite going to give it an it's lit, I'm giving it five out of five, but I will give it a four and three quarters. It's a winner. I'm loving it.
might have a battered onion ring by itself. Look at that. There was a decent amount of onion rings on there, that's for sure. Now yeah, that's messy. <laughs> They did give me some napkins, so I had them at the ready, but I don't really need them too much. This has worked out all right. Any more sauce on it and we would have been in trouble, but they've done well here. Well done, HJ's. This is a fantastic little burger. A big burger, actually. It's a Whopper size. It's a good stuff. Exquisite. Our burger wasn't too bad. Nicely sourced. Totally eats well. But now it's really time to start living dangerously. We're going to test out this theory which uh, with this Macca's cup. Let's put that over there. Now, we'll just pour it first. No, a small one just fits. That's very good. <laughs> I could make another pun there, but I won't. I won't say Yamas or Ghibli yet because we got to check out if this theory works and this could get messy. Now, I'll hold it like a normal glass. It's standing up straight. Now, apparently, when you let this thing go, wait for it. <laughs> I'm a bit, <laughs> I'm a bit hesitant to do this. When you let this thing go, apparently, it will not spill. Let's test it out. I'll do it that way. Oh, that would have went all over me then. Good thing it worked. Oh, look at that. So I didn't. What I didn't take into account though is this tray is on a little bit of an angle. So when I do this, it slides. So I didn't take into account this slide factor. But even with that, it's doing all right. So this is what it's all about, guys. It's not supposed to spill. It works. So now I know what the bubble's all about. We've, <laughs> we've debunked the theory. It does work. Well, now we know what that little bubble is underneath. I actually thought it was a defect in the glass when I first got it. Ghibli. Oh, and it's, um, <laughs> forgot to say, Raspberry Fanta. So guys, that's your Smokehouse Whopper. Actually, it was a pretty decent size. I enjoyed it. So guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, you can never be too Aussie. Hooroo. Stay fresh.